Is there a problem? Two problems. Your wife told me I'd find you in here. You and Vera have a nice chat? Always. Is that a national? I haven't seen one you this... You didn't come here to discuss farm implements. All right. I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. My help? I know. I don't have any right you to... You knew what I wanted. Jackie volunteered. She came to me. I know. Listen, I get why you didn't want Jackie joining SF. Why you retired. I mean, if I had to live with memories of being one of Quan Chi's thugs, I would have eaten a gun a long time ago. Well, you know Vera. She never would have allowed that. So what is it you need help with? The outworld refugees? Worse. Shinnok's amulet. Melina has it. Damn. And we've gotten word from Serena that Quan Chi has resurfaced in the Nether Realm. He shows his face after 25 years, just as Shinnok's amulet is in play. That's not a coincidence. That's why I need you. Your Quan Chi expertise. We wouldn't reactivate your commission. You'd be an observer. Cage. Jax. What is it? Just wanted to see if maybe... You could help close the sale? <laughs> yeah, because that worked out so well last time. Can't blame a guy for trying. We need you, Jax. Help me capture Quan Chi. None of us is safe if he gets near that amulet. So where's Jackie in all this? <sighs> Outworld with Cassie's team recovering the amulet. She'll be fine. We expect to hear mission accomplished from them soon. So what you guys think? Are they gonna kill us? They would have done it by now. Unless Kotal Khan's planning on having us as guests at the Coliseum. <sighs> well, if they don't kill us, my mother will. Me, at least. Tough being the General's daughter? <sighs> you have no idea. I do. My great whatever grandfather took down Shang Tsung, saved Earthrealm. How often do you think that comes up at family gatherings? That was 600 years ago. And yet, you'd think it happened yesterday. <laughs> no pressure there. I've trained all my life. Can fight my way out of nearly anything. But I still feel like a second-rate cage. <laughs> At least you grew up with people expecting things from you. I thought you and your dad were best friends. <laughs> now? He was a no-show for a long time. I can relate. What was that like growing up, having an ex-revenant father? Jin. No, I'm asking. Couldn't have been easy. He was just a bit overprotective. When I joined SF, Mr. Cage insisted on being the one to tell my dad. He thought it'd go smoother. <laughs> I'll never forget that day. My dad came home with a broken jaw. <laughs> Got this. You've got what exactly? Trust me. Away from the bars.
you do that? I overloaded his senses. It only works at short range. Being the son of a telepath has its perks. I didn't used to think so. Yield. Well done. You are now Chujin. You honor me, Master Hisashi. Now that I'm Chujin, how will I serve the clan? Your future does not lie with the Shirai Ryu. But... The clan's my family. When I took you in, I promised your father. I don't have a father. Yes, you do. One who's proud of you. A Chujin in record time. You knew he was coming? You said nothing? Knowing this would be your reaction, yes. Takeda, your father is not your enemy. Ten years. No visits. Nothing. You abandoned me. I did not abandon you. I was eight. My mother had just died. Now you come back? Think you can jump right in as a proud dad? Son, I... To hell with you. I am not your son. Now get up. I want to knock you down again. Takeda, cease! Kenshi did not abandon you. He brought you here for your protection. Protection from what? From those who murdered your mother. She... She died in an accident. That is the story I asked Master Hasashi to tell you. But in truth, your mother was killed by Red Dragon assassins. I was the target. Su Chin was the victim. Son of a bitch! It was your fault! Your father has devoted his life to fighting animals like the Red Dragon. It is they who are without honor. You shouldn't have hidden the truth. You would have gone after your mother's killers unprepared. I could not risk that. Master Hasashi has perfected your fighting skills. Now it is time to complete your training. How, how did you do that? We are telepaths, a family gift. I can read minds? Through training, we will determine your full abilities. And then we will hunt down the Red Dragon, together. This is Devorah's work. No argument there. Only she could create wounds like these. That Devorah's full of surprises. Question is, is she working with anyone else? <laughs> what is it? Damn, he's made us. Okay, guys, standard diamond formation. Takeda, you're on point. Jackie, bring up the rear. Kung Jin, air cover. You got it. The Earth Realmers. Devorah freed them. <laughs> One down, two to go. When we 
we get back, you're teaching me that. Deal. Go help with Ermac. I got this. Think you can handle me alone? You're either brave or foolish. Brave or foolish? I'm alive. See what's worth learning in there. So many minds trapped inside. We exist to serve, bound by Shao Kahn's magic. Chaos. The voices. We are many. You are one. Your abilities fail before us. Although he may be many souls, he's still just one body, but. Ermac is probably one of the most annoying characters to fight because of his mystic abilities and magic. Yeah, like that, just picking you up is so annoying and the teleporting. Because I know if you play against someone that uses him, they're just constantly teleporting and spamming the same move where they pick you up, slam you down, pick you up, slam you down. Dead body, go. Wait, oh my goodness. I didn't know he could just fly up there. That's insane. Alright, back down to Earth. Touch his toes. Tapita? I think he just gained health. Like when he did that little magic spell. Okay, see? Yeah, he's just gonna keep teleporting. Well, not this second, because obviously I'm snapping his back. I like that you can see the zombie in the background. Wow, Jeez, when Kita hits someone with this brutality, they stay down. Yeah, of course. Yep, pick me up, slam me down. Gonna, yeah, there we go. I knew it. He paused for a second. I was like, oh, he's gonna teleport. I got him this time. There we go. Stays up there. Fine, let him fall. But this is what I was talking about. Just pick me up, slam me down. Or, like, pick me up, hit my head, and then pick me up again, and he just keeps doing that. What's crazy, though, is he heals while he does it. And GG Zermak. I think I've had enough of Outworld. I'm starting to get why my dad retired. We have to find Devora. Get the amulet. Let's go. It won't be out long. Devora. And the Earth Roamers? She stole the amulet, then helped them escape. She betrayed us to the Thunder God. You wound me, Devora. Prepare the legions. We go to Earthrealm. We will wrest back the amulet from that devil Raiden. Hey guys, it's Torch, and I'd like to thank you very much for watching today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss any Mortal Kombat Mondays in the future, and share this video with all of your friends. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.